morning, evening, or afternoon, everybody. It's Kago coming at you with another video. So today, I wanted to take the time to sort of show you um, what I like to call funneling and how to do it to an extreme level. So I saw a few guides that came out and a few streamers talking about this, but I've never seen any sort of show it to this uh, level and how much resource you actually can get. So basically the whole concept of funneling is to get those materials um, and from an alt character. Um, you can have six or seven um, depending. I got a free character extension pass with the founders pack I bought. Other people might not have that. And so that allows you to have um, uh, an extra character. So you can have six to seven characters just without spending any money. Um, and so I have seven ults. Here is my roster right here if we switch characters. And my thought process has been just funnel them to the max. You know, focus on my main and then focus on another character, my paladin right there. We're getting them to, uh, to tier three as fast as possible. To do that, that means taking all tier two mats from this character, my main, that I didn't use extra stuff like that, sending it to him. And then when we're talking tier one, every character that you boost or uh, um, power pass will be tier one by default. So you, you just want to get them to 340 and I'll show you why. So something that I found discovered is the abyss trade. So after doing the abyssal dungeons, you can get... Um, these materials and now that my character is tier 3 I have absolutely no use for these tier 2 materials so what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy 23 of um, these necklaces and what's really cool is that every single one of them are tradable so I can also spend my legendary ones here to buy another um, accessory so these are all my tier 2 accessories that we have just purchased and so what I do is I now take these extra materials and I will then mail them to my paladin and then my paladin can uh, dismantle them. Why you want to do this instead of just dismantling it on this character and sending it is because the jewelry gives life shards. Now and so I would come here and I'd mail this so, but to save you the time yesterday I took all of these characters um, everyone in tier one and i ran all the abyss dungeons as well as their chaos dungeons and then i mailed them all to cag pew pew um that's my sharpshooter and so now i'm going to log into him and show you how great this can really be um the reason why you want to do the two chaos dungeon the two chaos dungeons that's your normal thing but getting them to 340 to do the uh first two abyssal dungeons is huge because you get a lot of of materials that you're then able to send to that character and so in doing that um, you can definitely reap a ton of rewards and now we're going to show you how much it really is and this is what I like to call sort of extreme funneling taking it to the next level while this does take time um, you're about to see how I have 24 things of mail just of accessories and stuff. It might actually fill up my stuff. But while you're doing the chaos dungeons, um, you'll yield about 500 guardian fragments and around 100 to 200 weapon fragments per your uh, two chaos that you do. But we can just click on this, take accept all. And then I like to have a hand on the enter key to just accept all of these uh, materials and because they're jewelry they do not cost fions and that is the biggest thing because you can send the gear but that will take your fions and you really really do not want that otherwise um, you're gonna be definitely disappointed because um, these are really helpful to sort of buy some of the best stones that you can sort of get later on as well as some other things that you're going to want way more than just funneling a few shards to a character um, and the biggest reason that this is so uh, this is my preferred method is because it allows you to um, get your shards on characters so right now we're at 15k shards okay uh, 15,512 so now we're going to then dismantle all of these uh, rings and stuff that we just sent to our character and bam over a thousand harmony shards now the destruction and the guardian stones would be the same 
those would not change. Those are going to be the same exact that you get from that. But that extra 1k harmony shards, for those of you that don't know, like, and then we just got 440 from our pet inventory where the other stuff went. Those extra things can really be the difference. Like, they actually could be the difference between getting that piece, getting to tier 2 a whole day early. Um, those of you who have been at that 600 mark around there, you know how stressful and obnoxious it can be to do that and then be unable to go to the next tier because you were short a few hundred harmony shards. This is to sort of combat this, and this is something that I wanted to address and show you guys because it really can... Um, it can really suck to do that. So as you can see, I also have 18 Knight's Oaths uh, left over on this character from doing them. He's already full epic gear um, from the normal stuff that you make. So I have no reason to sort of hoard these. So we can just go here. We can buy 18 more. And then um, we can then uh, disenchant all of those as well. Or I guess dismantle, sorry. Little wow talk there uh, with disenchanting. But anyway, this is just another way to sort of extremely funnel and get your character higher eye level, higher everything with those materials. And it's something that I wanted to take the time to show you guys because I have actually left it out of... Uh, all the videos I have been making on what to do, how to get to the next tiers, and I definitely think that this could really, really help you guys. Anyway, um, let me know what you think, if you think this is worth it, if you're going to take the time. Obviously, I know this is a bit extreme, but this character got 2,000 Harmony Shards right there, and that could be the, a whole day's worth of time as, when we're talking upgrades. You know, that could be the one, uh, that could be an extra try that pushes you to um 600 eye level to go to that next tier and if you didn't know already those tier points are so so critical guys um getting to the next tier because you always have to do a questing in the area and the power spike that you can get from it is absolutely nuts anyway guys that's it for this video i really hope you enjoyed it and until next time i'll see you later Bye bye if you made it to the end of this video, thank you so, so much for watching. It truly means a lot to me. If you happen to find anyone that you know would also benefit from watching this video, please, please, please share it with them. It helps me out a ton and allows me to keep doing what I love every single day, and that is gaming and sort of helping people any way that I can. So finally, thank you so much, and I hope you have a fantastic day. Goodbye.